Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Diana and I hope you're all okay. So let's get to it. Hi guys, welcome to Wendy Gavin Studio. I'm Diane and today we're going to, firstly actually I'm going to explain about my throat. Winter's approaching and I always get a sore throat kind of sounding. So please bear with me. If I sound a bit rough, it's just because of that. I feel fine in myself, it's just croaky coffee throat and whatnot. Anyway. So today we're going to be working on these lip moulds that I got from AliExpress, I think it was. So I've been having a bit of a play off, off screen to find out how I can actually get the teeth to look white because I'm going to be backing it with this uh, polyurethane black lip, uh, resin. So I want, obviously I want the teeth to be white and if you just put white mica powder on there it's gonna show through grey if it even shows white, any kind of white. So I tried um, this acrylic marker, just kept balling up as I'm sure you can imagine, and it was just not working. So I decided to have a little play with some J Diction UV resin and mixed in um, some of this Sinker White from Let's Resin Alcohol Inks. And I've mixed it up and I made a little pot. And as long as I've discovered, I've discovered as long as you do it in thin layers, it it work, it sets up quite nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom through all of this where there's teeth in the moulds. So this one, this one, this one. In fact, five of them, all of them except for this one, have teeth. Of some sort so I'll zoom through I'll leave you on count I'll leave the camera on but I'll just zoom through and I won't bother talking anymore save my throat so here we go So I'm going to put, after I've done, finished each set of teeth, I'm going to put it under there for a couple of set minutes just to make sure it sets up okay. I'm just going to put this box, let's resin box in front of it. And work like this. Okay, so with that last one's uh, hewing on the other side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to colour these in with chameleon flakes and powders. I just feel like having really jazzy lips. <laughs> um, so this one's got a lipstick in its teeth, in her teeth, or their teeth, whatever. Um, so I'm going to colour lipstick part in magenta from let's resin i'm going to do this part in the silver metallic powder from let's resin and then the end part there in what they call bronze but i call copper and then i'm just going to choose um whichever of these flakes there's three lots of flakes i have ones from these purple opal flakes from just for you online then I have two other 
lots of flakes. This one's called Supremacy and this one's Nirvana. These are from, can't remember the name, I'll put the name on screen below. Um, this is just a chameleon powder it says, but I'm going to try and use this one for the tongue on this because it kind of looks, if you Kind of looks like it's got a bit of a pink when it's on the black, so I'm hoping that works. Looks more like a glitter than a, a more a powder, but I'm hoping that works for the tongue. And then, as I say, the horns I'm going to do in silver as well. So we'll just get cracking on this and see what comes about from it all. So again, I'm not going to explain what I'm doing. You'll be able to see in the video. I'm just going to zoom through and say again save my throat Okay, I decided to do this on on camera because not everybody's seen how this works. So I'm going to mix it. You have to do this by weight due to the fact that each part weighs differently for the same amount. So you'll get less of part B for the same amount of part A, if I remember rightly, but we'll ch I'll show you shortly. So what I'm going to do, you have to give it a good shape before mixing uh using it as well but what we're going to do is get a stick and very gently pour I'm not sure how much I'm going to need but this is making a right mess I'll pour 50 grams of this one What? Right. Part B now. Oh. Don't know if you saw the struggle I was having there, but if you look on the bottle here, it's gone a bit crust crusty. Where I haven't used it for a short time. 
and when you use it make sure you clean around the edges really really well so that it doesn't get stuck if you do get it stuck i've just used the lighter to slightly light underneath it a little bit not too much you don't want to set your house on fire so let me just clean that off right so now we're going to measure not measure we're going to weigh 50 grams of part b Turning it slightly sideways and hopefully this will pull a bit better this time. That's 50 grams of that one, part B. Well, don't forget, make sure you clean this off really well so that it doesn't stick. Okay. Hopefully that won't stick this time. Right, so that's 50 grams of that one. Take that off there. So, if I bring these back together, turn them both around that direction, I'll just quickly bring you down. You can see on this one, there's a black line by my finger behind, just here. There is actually one below that, but it's covered by the black resin. Now, if you look on here, this one, you can see both lines on this one. And it's actually, part B is actually below the second line. So that's why you have to weigh this one. You can't just eyeball it and think well that's about the, about the right amount because as you can see clearly they are both different weight different amounts for the different weight because these cups are exactly the same size but you get different the, the different density i guess the word is so anyway that is a disgusting color it looks like pee sorry for that but it's vile color thankfully it's going to be black <laughs> Okay, right, so now we've got you back up there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pour part O straight into there. Scrape out as much as we can. Because don't forget this is, has a very short pot life. It's not as short as some of the others you've probably seen people using because that is a 10 minute demold. Mine is a... 60 minute demold but it's still a very short pot life of three to four minutes and for me that's like supersonic amount of time to do something so i don't work that fast right so that's part a into there and then wipe my stick because I don't want to contaminate my tubs. And now we'll pour part B into part A. Again, scrape it all around to get as much out as you can. Start stirring. Uh. 
It's already starting to warm up in my hand. Cup. So put that there in it, and we'll start pouring these in. I don't think I've mixed anywhere near enough that I need. Get this into here. Mix up some more. No, that's starting to turn already. Oh, I'm gonna have to come back to this one. Put a bit more in. Quick pop, sorry about my arm. Right, I'm going to leave that one aside and mix up. Uh, should we do 40 and 40? I think if I'm about right. Right, so let's get this one pulled again, finished off. To do that, did I? I'm trying to do is see if this one's actually set. This one's almost set already. Even though it says 60 minute D mold.
but I know if I can have them off. <laughs> I'll just get that warm really quick. <laughs> I'm hoping I might just have enough. That was perfect. So these moulds take 160, no, 180 grams, sorry, of the polyurethane resin that I'm using. Now, all we have to do is wait for them to finish curing. We can demould and see what we got. That one back over there, pop some more bubbles. Interested to see how this one at the back does to if it sticks to itself. It's already getting thick, look at that. Wow. Man, that cue that was quick. <laughs> That's not going to work. I bothered that one up, didn't I? Of right. <clears throat> Okay. So we've got a bump on the back. So I shall see you soon as these are set. These are okay, so it's not been that long since I stopped the video. But they're all nice and firm. The horns are a little bit bendy still on that, but nothing to worry about. So right, let's start at number one, which was using the Varna Chameleon Flakes from Kyma Cosmetics. Open. Oh, got a little bubble there, but that's nothing to worry about. Come on, let you come. Right, let's see how these teeth turned out. Huh? It's a bit of oil spill. Let's have a look. Oh my God, look at that! <gasps> wow, oh, I absolutely love them. I think that came out really, really cool. That was the magenta from uh, Let's Resin on the tip of that. Uh, the tip of the lipstick, which came out really cool. More of a purple than a magenta, but it looks really nice with the black behind it. That is amazing. I love that one. Right, number two was using the Let's Resin Chameleon Powder Magenta. 
see how this one come out there's a really sturdy mold quite difficult to get them out as well if we can just pull them out a bit there we go it's coming come on out you come oh we've got teeth that need prying out that's why in between your choppers come on out you come Oh, 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 there we go. Oh, oh yeah. Love the fangy teeth on the bottom. Oh, they're gorgeous. Look at that. I think the white UV resin turned out really good as well. Maybe I should have not put the purple in the back of the mouth. Maybe I left that black, but I don't care. It looks great anyway. That one, oh, these are amazing. Right, this one is Supremacy chameleon flakes from Karma Cosmetics again oh I like the look of this one already oh there we go pop that one out the bottom oh teeth oh wow look at that what I love about the flakes as well is because the flakes get texture um, it's not always the same colour, so there's a big chunk of purple there, which turns green different angles. Not sure if it's showing off, but I'll try and get some pictures if it doesn't. That one's really cool. Oh, I love these. Um, this one is Purple Opal Flakes from Just For You Online UK.com. So that's those. So let's have a look at this one. This was the one I'm buggered up the back on, but it's fine. I have a magnet. I can sand that down and just put a magnet on the back anyway, because I forgot to say I'm going to turn these into magnets. Bridge magnets, I think, will look really cool. Oh, bendy horns, like I say. Oh my word, look at that. Oh my word, that is stunning. These flakes are gorgeous just for you online. Wow. Love the silver horns as well. Oh, I'm in love with these. These are absolutely gorgeous. Right, this one is Galaxy Chameleon Powder from Let's Resin. Flippity floppity off that bottom bit there. Oh, this is the sassy tongue one. Out your pop, out your pop, come on. Oh, wow, that came out great. Is that upside down? Or is that... Yeah, that's the right way, isn't it? Yeah, I could have done with pulling a little bit more white around the edges there, but I'm not sure if it would have worked. But I'm happy with that. That is absolutely gorgeous. The uh, chameleon powder is just one I got on, oh, I think it was Wish or something like that. Um, that that came out great for the tongue. But that, you never, that is gorgeous. That galaxy is beautiful from Let's Resin. And then the last one, uh, number six, is golden chameleon powder from let's resin and this one let's have a look oh pop back in come on need your pop oh come on teethies ain't you come toffee pegs don't want to come loose oh just say cheese and there we go biting her lip wow Oh, I'm absolutely, absolutely well chuffed with these. These are absolutely stunning. I think my favourite has got to be that one. Absolutely gorgeous. That one, magenta, is a little bit, let's just say, it is what it is. It's a bit boring, <laughs> but it's still really pretty. Um, but wow, all these others are absolutely gorgeous, and I can't wait to put these on my fridge. Uh, so I'm going to get some magnets, stick them to the back, and I'll get some pictures once they're um, on my fridge. So thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, hope you come back soon. And bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.